Oh, hello folks, it's Fred from CR Machine, and um, I wanted to make this video for you to see what I do uh, in the case of this engine here. This is for the GT5 Super engine, the new engine that I'm very happy with. It has a special crank, and it's a 38 millimeter stroke engine, um, and I want to talk to you about the, uh, the thing that I would recommend for the person that buys this if they uh, uh, want, if they, if you test drive, it, there's a base setting, okay? There's a base setting that mm, poor timing and everything is set when you buy the GT5 Super Engine from me, from, from CR Machine. Now, uh, uh, um, if you drive it and you go, hey, I like the low end torque, it's pretty good, but maybe I can get some more top end. Let's say you, it, it, it may very well likely be like just fine out of the box. It's, it's designed for more torque, but let's say you want, you know, for special needs, you, you, you really need maximum speed, let's say. That would be a case where you'd want to like advance the port timing um, a little bit more. So, you know, this is set up from me for it's a good compromise, I think. Uh, you know, that you, you, when you give a lot to the top end, uh, you take away from the bottom. So there's a compromise. So um, here's what we do, and uh, in this you will also be able to see uh, how I assemble the piston, you know, to the engine and and with the cylinder bore and and getting the rings through. You'll see what I do. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, um, like I say, the base setting, it's already, it's very close um, to um, what you're going to need. The uh, adjustments will be um, small adjustments. Okay, so we pull the cylinder off. There's one base gasket. That's how the engine comes. GT5 Super comes with one base gasket. And it's a special shortened cylinder. So you take your pliers. Now, I'll show you this. Oh, let's see if we can do it. I don't know. Oh boy. Uh, can it see these pliers? Well, I'm not sure if you can see it, but these curved pliers, this is what I use for taking off the uh, wrist pin clips. Now I very carefully machine a little notch on that jaw, a little notch on that jaw and then when they two come together it, it really holds those clips really well so <clears throat> that's something that's something that is useful to see some of you already do all this but in case you don't there you go okay taking off the piston this doesn't have to be done but I wanted to do this just so you can see, like, oh, well, this is how Fred puts his piston on. Okay, so what we're going to do to advance the timing, we're just going to first, here's the first step in, if you're going to experiment to see, like, I want more top end, I want more top end. Okay, okay. First step is adding another base gasket, because you, you will advance the transfer port timing and the exhaust port timing. And that's okay. What you will also do is you will automatically increase your squish band clearance, which is okay because it's kind of a violent operation. Um, you see, I have this knife. It's a sharp little kind of filleting knife, like um, a, a fine knife. Now, um, the uh, cases are already uh, port matched, and you can trim a new gasket by cutting with the knife and you'll use the case aluminum as a guide to help you shave that gasket and then you flip it and you have to be very careful to not allow paper to get in touch to the engine so you have to mind your screw your 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 knife and wipe it off if there's any gasket on there and you know okay so on and so forth so we added another base gasket we raised the cylinder we also increased the squish band clearance for the cylinder head Perfect, fine, great, first step. Now, when you do that, you 
retard the intake timing. So, so we're not out of the woods yet. We raised the cylinder, great. The stock piston that, that comes with the GT5 Super Engine has modifications to it, real subtle light modifications just for like flow and stuff. Um, there's no bevels on the uh, piston at all. And there's no intake skirt modifications at all because already some have been done as the base setting in the cylinder. So the next step, if like, so, okay, we advanced the transfer port timing and the exhaust port timing. Oh, and we retarded the intake. Well, we got to bring her back and we got to advance the intake now. So we add the gasket, advancing transfer and exhaust port. And now here, this little modification to the piston skirt, which a lot of you know about, is what I do to advance the intake timing. Can we see that? Oh boy. Wow. You can kind of see it. It's about two millimeters. Now that is like a first step. Um, is is doing the base gasket and doing this intake. Uh, advancement through the you know bottom of the piston skirt. You can do a little bit more with the exhaust port by raising the exhaust port. You can raise the exhaust port a little bit more, but this engine, it's this engine that's already really close. Uh, if you go too far on that, you'll start losing bottom end torque, and that's you know that's a pretty big price to pay. So now we're going to assemble. We got the base gasket on, new piston with the notched intake. This is how I deal with putting this back together. I will compress the ring with my thumb and forefinger, pointer finger, and put put it in first ring, rotate it till we find the pins. Okay, we compress it and then we push it in just a little bit just to hold the ring in. So now it's assembled as a unit. Yay, that's good. And then we uh, align it so it's the wrist pin hole is is square, you know, perpendicular and parallel. You know what I mean. Not at an angle. Okay, wrist pin bearing is in there. And this is what I do. <laughs> I will line it up. Okay. Now, uh, we can do it horizontally. All right, so there everything is aligned. Drop the wrist pin bearing in. And sometimes you have to rotate it a little bit. There it is. See, I didn't have to fumble around with those studs in the way to try to compress the ring and all that, you know. It's kind of hard doing it that way. This way, it's kind of relaxed. You have, yeah, you have to take the piston off, but it gives you a chance to inspect the wrist pin bearing. Eh. And pliers with the groove. You see, you can press it. It doesn't pop out of the, the jaws of the pliers. <laughs> How many of you have lost your clip? Not known where it went. <laughs> we don't like that. Okay, there it is. So, advancement on the intake is done. Elevated the, uh, uh, pist uh, the cylinder for advancement of the transfers and the exhaust. There's what you do to, you know, if you in search or if you have a thirst for a little bit more top end power well, that's what you do for the gt5 super and you can know you can even take it a little bit farther like i said by raising the exhaust port a little bit more thank you